All right, so we wanted to get into the commanders here. Ooh. If they're unable to land Ben Johnson as their head coach, and all signs are pointing to Ben Johnson being the guy, mm-hmm. who would you go with? Who's your safety net guy? I'll I'll tell you, I know my, you. my safety net guy. My and this will same. Surpri- get, oh. This will surprise you. All right, we'll surprise me. My safety net guy, and I've been swayed by Valdez, is Mike McDonald from the Ravens. He's my safety net guy if they can't get Ben Johnson. Well, now, there's a caveat. Yeah. If McDonald is hired, we all know he's a defensive guy. There has to be an accompanying young whiz kid offensive genius well, you know that, that comes in. Like, maybe if Bobby Slowick doesn't get a job somewhere, you lure him away from the Texans with just a fatter deal to come here to Washington. I think the, like, obvious, I answer combo. Is, the obvious answer is Bobby Slowick. Now... Because he's the same kind of guy, right? But I just want to be on the record. I don't. I'm not. I don't care about Ben Johnson. Like I hope he's great, but I don't. I don't care if it's him or Slowick or. I would prefer an offensive guy, but I'm. Not, I barely know anything about him. Everyone just says he's great, right? Okay. You just want the best guy. I just want the best guy, whoever yeah, it is. I would agree. Yeah. Um. But my backup would be if if Ben Johnson. If you told me Ben Johnson is the number one choice, but he turns us down for whatever reason. I think I would want Slowick because it's kind of the same guy. Yeah, I'd, right? same, I would want the same McDonald. kind of resume. I'd want what? the top defensive mind out there. Like Valdez loves to say that he he shoves guys into lockers that he's faced. Guys would, like Slowick. They hired the McDonald's guys guy. like Ben Johnson. Not knowing him, only having read an article about him, a long profile on him, I it, it would be exciting because he is a young. He's another one who I consider like a young yeah. boy genius. But I thought Cakes was against a defensive coach at all costs. No, no. I again, I pivoted, I, and I also said. So you just want a, a young guy. Yeah, I he want somebody young and attractive. I want somebody who's not. somebody young and attractive. I want somebody who's not like uh, aging politicians running for president. Uh, in but what if <laughs> coaching the team? So when Sean McVay got the gig in L.A., right? He yeah. was like thirty-two or thirty, mm-hmm. and right. everyone said, "Oh, they couldn't believe they gave it to him yeah. after like one year's OC." That started the whole trend. He brought in Wade Phillips as his DC, and they love that because Wade Phillips was an icon. Mm. Is there an offensive icon <laughs> like Sherm Lewis? No, I'm, I'm teasing. But like, is there an offensive icon that's older that you would be excited? Not about? Not really. No. Now I could do it the opposite. If you hire an offensive young guy, which is key, Vic Fangio is out of the market. So you like, yeah. you don't I, mind an old fart on now, defense? Vic Fangio, I would hate <laughs> as a head coach. Hate, 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 hate a thousand times. But as a defensive coordinator, kind of a sage, older guy to pair with a young offensive mind as the head coach, love. That's the same theory, though, with, like, Del Rio and Rivera. Hate him as a head coach. Hate it. Right. Todd Uh, Todd Munkin could have been in that category as an older offensive kind of genius. Yeah, how old is Todd Munkin? Is he, like, 60, 60? I think? Probably close to 60. I had no idea. I think he's 60. Yeah, what if they bring in Todd Munkin as the OC? And who's the head coach? Uh, it's the OC. Why would well, he? He's not going to yeah, play Baltimore. Yeah, yeah. I'm, talking about, I'm talking about as a head but I'm coach. No, but I'm, that's a great example from my hypothetical. So, in other words, you have a young defensive coordinator, but then he brings in an older offensive coordinator. That's what I'm getting at. He's 57. I didn't know. I actually thought Munkin was a younger I guy. I didn't know that. I actually 57 kind of young at this point. I know, right? Me too. Because we're all But 53. that's not really what we're talking about. I, know, I, I know. don't know why he's my guy, and Drab pointed to some negative statistics, but I'm a Raheem Morris guy. I don't know. He just I looks like he'd be successful. He said that yesterday. It's, it's yeah. superficial. There aren't, there aren't many of you out there. I'll it's, tell you yeah, that. Yeah, no. I'm the, a team. the poll was like 25% <laughs> pro Raheem Morris, but if you don't get – and I'm not – Super in love with Ben Johnson. I think I'm more sold on, like, this is, again, we, the four of us don't really know anything, right? Which is Especially agree, with right? these guys. Right. So, Especially Valdez sold me on McDonald's, so that might be my number one. And then I think I like Raheem Morris. Like, he just looks like he'd be a good leader. His resume is bounced around in places. A lot of people have positive things yeah, to say. Yeah, you like Raheem. I said that. Oh. What I like about Raheem is he's a young prodigy. I know you guys d- disagree. I think he's a young prodigy. Anytime you get hired as an NFL head coach at 32, you, they obviously consider you like a brilliant young mind. No, he's Cakes older. is the only one who Cakes said not disagrees. a prodigy because he's a he's, defensive guy. <laughs> yeah, but I think he's a young prodigy. And, by the way, the Shanahans love him, mm-hmm. if that means anything to you. Mike and Kyle both love him. Right. Um, and he's had a lot of experience and wisdom, so I just think he would be a good fit. But I, 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 I it's too late. It's not going to happen. <laughs> But I would take Antonio Pierce maybe over all of them because he's that kind of guy. It just seems like 
can get the guys By going. By the way, I have two you run other, through a brick wall for. I have two other superior Raheems, Mostert and Radio. Ben Raheem Morris, in my opinion. Not, if you want to chime them, it, but if you want to chime in, 800-636-1067. It is open line Thursday, presented by Window Nation. Search it for new windows and doors. Search windownation.com. Their windows are measured to fit the first time and installed by experts to last. Window Nation for your home because it's where you live. 800 636 I got another name for 1067. You. But I will tell you, I think they botched it by not going after Harbaugh. And I understand that maybe it wasn't part of their model. I don't and they think it's a Adam. fit. I don't care. I don't think it's a fit. I think that he was the best choice for any of these teams as out there. As soon as Adam Peters was brought into the fold, you knew that Harbaugh and Belichick were not coming here to Washington. That maybe, maybe that's going to work. The, maybe I didn't that's know the that. same reason with Vrabel, because if Vrabel would have been my number one choice. Right. I think maybe, Vrabel's a great Maybe coach. that's why they didn't go after him. It's Could so be. strange why his name isn't out there. He doesn't seem to have that type of personality, though, where he demands control. It doesn't. You know I, what I mean? I, I don't know anything about him. He doesn't seem to be an egomaniac. Don't know. But Harbaugh's just, an egomaniac. Yeah, Bill but Jack Harbaugh, I mean, apparently he didn't have this great relationship with his GM in San Francisco, Jump Balky, Balky but, but he Balky had a was, GM. Balky was an ass. He, was a he had ass. a GM. Like, I, I don't know that he can't work with a GM. I'm sure he can't, but I'm sure he... A guy of that caliber is going to want, just like Ron. Right. Ron had accomplished nothing. And Ron got all this control. Harbaugh's reputation is difficult to work with. Creates storms wherever he goes. Yeah. Doesn't matter think, to me. He also like wins. Chaos. I'm just saying, they botched it, in my opinion, no, but by not going go after around, Harbaugh. Listen, if they bring in these young prodigies and these guys suck, the next wave will be the Harbaugh types. You know that. It goes in cycles. So they're starting out, I think, Ideally, on paper, let's get some young guys we can mold and go from there. Well, Harbaugh, the fix might have been in from day one. They said Harbaugh, the most likely landing spot for him was the Chargers because they had Herbert. Mm -hmm. And if you look at the quarterbacks that and Harbaugh has Diego, worked with, he's worked with some LR. really good quarterbacks. LA, yeah. LA stinks. San Diego, <laughs> great. Harbaugh's worked with really good quarterbacks. Right. He's made them better. From Kaepernick to Alex Smith. Yep. Well, the, presumably get he would get a good quarterback here at two, presumably. Right. But maybe he just wanted an established guy. I don't blame him. Yeah. I don't blame him. And, he's gonna, and he'll be him. working. He'll, he's going to be working with the GM in, in L.A. They should. Maybe sure. He, maybe he just likes SoFi cakes. He just wanted to go to SoFi a few times. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure that was the deciding <laughs> factor. I don't know. Let's go to let's go to Andre in Manassas. It's open line Thursday. Could chime in on that. Who yeah. would be your safety net guy, Ben Johnson? And it'd be exactly what you said, JP, is why I'm not all in on Ben Johnson. Because I only know what, I mean, his, these young guys, we only know what we've read. They've only been there a couple of years in those positions. I just don't know. Well, you just, Ben Johnson, the, you, the analytics crowd says that Ben Johnson's offense has more spacing and it's well designed than any other offense in the league. Right? Sounds great on paper. They also have studs everywhere. So I'm not a Bienemy backer at all. But mm -hmm. the people that do back Bienemy, and there's a lot of people that believe Bienemy, hey, he got hosed, he only had one year. Scott Turner had three years, and they point to all this stuff. He didn't really have anything to work with. Like whoever the if it's Ben true. Johnson had been the offensive coordinator of the commanders this season, do you think he'd be a hot head coaching prospect? No, but I do think he'd probably be better than Biennemi. I, I think actually so. think Biennemi wasn't that good at I it. I think so. I agree with you that Biennemi didn't do Hal any favors. Yeah. I actually looked at something yesterday. Hal had 750 dropbacks. Insane. Lamar Jackson had 599. Right. Insane. For a kid that's just learning. Just right. learning. And then yeah. he was clearly struggling. He and had then more dropbacks. Back. He had more dropbacks than Patrick Mahomes. He got benched twice. Well, yeah, yeah, because he was falling apart. I know. That's what and I'm saying. Th I, one thing I will say to the kid's credit, I think part of it was he was forcing stuff because he was trying to win games. You know, he was just tr he was trying to win games. Look, the team fell apart. They probably they quit on the coach. After the DeVito game against the Giants, it was over. Because yeah, they had a winnable thanks, game. Commanders. Winnable game that. against the Seahawks, was that, right? Was that our survivor? I thought it was over when we lost no, the Seahawks. Yeah. Winnable, winnable game oh, okay. against the Seahawks, 29-26. And by the way, after that Seahawks game, a lot of people were on board with Hal as the quarterback of the future because that was the three-game stretch 
which included New England well, and by Philly. Far his best three game stretch. Philly, New England, but yeah, even the whole first half as a had, whole was great. Right, right, but he had eight touchdowns with just two picks in that three game stretch, and I think at that point he had seventeen touchdowns with nine interceptions. It was fine. And then it was after a great that, debut. It fell he apart. finished with four now, touchdowns. The competition did get better. But we just did not rise to the challenge as a team. Yeah. He only had four touchdowns the rest of the way and a ton of interceptions. You you still had to judge him on a full plate. You know, you couldn't. And the full plate ended up bad. It did end up bad. But I think the enemy ruined him, in my opinion. He didn't help him. JP, you can say that the Lions had all this talent. But you have to remember, Goff was a salary dump in the trade. Nobody wanted him. He was, he like was a, a laughing stock, and Ben Johnson turned him into something special. No, no, I'll, I, I, I said that he has some positive attributes. I just wonder how he would fare somewhere like Washington with, with a, a guy that nobody wants. Yeah, but I mean, Goff he, was a number one pick. I, mean, he I went think to it's a, a little overstated that nobody a, wanted him. Goff went, went McVay to a Super Bowl. made a move to try and get somebody better. He basically, you could say, it wasn't somebody that nobody wants. It was somebody that McVay felt like. They needed to approve upon to win a Super Bowl. So they went for Stafford over golf. From the Lions perspective, everyone said he, it's a bridge quarterback. They'll be drafting a QB next year. And Ben Johnson helped turn him into a star. Or I think get, there's get no doubt that Ben Johnson track. helped no, him. There's no doubt. Of course. Of course. There's, he, he's, there's no he's, doubt. he's obviously good at what he does, but he's got pieces now. Right. I'm just but, saying I've never been more disconnected to this crop of guys. You know what I mean? Like they're just sort of names. Yeah, well, I don't know. Well, you're him, gonna get connected like I felt like. to Ben Johnson because he's the odds on. I mean, they have reputations. So yeah. just I'm, not, I'm not against him. All right, you just I just don't they, know. They have reputations. Yeah. If somebody else swoops in and hires Ben Johnson, who's your backup guy? Nobody's uh, advocating Aaron Glenn. Now, Jason has like, brought like up him. Aaron Glenn a few times. Tom Johnson tweets us because it's also Open Tweet Thursday. Cakes. Mm-hmm. What makes Ben Johnson so hot? They are loaded and have the number one pick at quarterback who went to the Super Bowl. And the defense is playing well. Guess who sealed that game last week? The defense. So he's just completely overlooking what Ben Johnson is doing offensively for that team. Well, he's and saying that he's in a he's in a better position based on the players he has. So you'd expect success with the offense because of the players they have. Well, you still have to have a game plan. You got to give defense, him credit. I mean, you got to give credit to offensive mm-hmm. coordinators. Sealed the game for him. Just one guy's opinion. Clearly, you're, you're sure. not buying it. Well, let's see how they play on Sunday. Look, too. I think Aaron Glenn is a fine candidate, but I mean, if you put a gun to my head, I'm if I had to pick between one of the two, I'm picking Ben Johnson. Well, you want the offensive guy? Yeah, I want the offensive guy on All right. this side. Let's sit Andre in Manassas. Yeah, Andre's been a home for a while. Hey, Andre, what's up, buddy? I'm doing well. First of all, Ben Johnson, Lurch, what do you do? Huh? I mean, I, <laughs> I don't know. I wouldn't go. I wouldn't go that far. But I don't know. It, it's actually I'm really, really frustrated right now um, because, you know, all this talk about good looking head young coach. I mean, we're, we're trying to build a football team. We're trying to build a culture. And I, I don't know why you have perhaps a, a head coach such as Harbaugh, you know, such as Ray Bull. I mean, I'm only inside one Belichick in the office because he's older. But I mean, we're trying to win here. This is not like a beauty contest. We're trying to win. And. I, it, it's it's frustrating that those guys didn't come inside the building. So I have to agree, JP. Listen, you know, if if Ben Johnson doesn't, you know, take us, I'll be happy, and, and I would want Mike McDonald, I suppose, because I, I value Valdez's opinion when it comes to football. Ooh, and I've seen the, and the other thing about it is we're trying to build a culture here, and you know, I think what they're doing here in in Detroit and in Houston, those are one offs. Yeah, they were successful, but one offs. I mean, in 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 Baltimore. They've done it for years. So, you know, I would go with Mike McDonald. But all these Anna Cornucopa types that, you know, um, Cakes, I'm disappointed in you. I mean, you play poker all the time. The, the a, Anna Cornucopa, and to me, that's what they're doing here, just trying to get some young person. But I don't think it's going to work out, man. I really don't. Well, I mean, you're you're completely discounting what Dan Campbell has done when he took over. I believe his first exactly. season. Dan were, Campbell. They were, Dan Campbell did it. They had three Dan wins Campbell when he took over, it. and now he has him one win away from a Super Bowl in three exactly. seasons. Dan Campbell. I have to give the kudos to the coach. I can't just say the offensive coordinator did that. But that Dan Campbell did that. So I mm. kudos to Dan Campbell. But we're trying to build a culture. That's the one thing this team, 40 years. And we have to build a culture. And because we don't want to get hardball, because we, you know, we don't want friction in the back office, I mean, come on, give me a break. I'm actually disappointed in Peters if we're one of trying to build an organization, a winning organization, and we want everything to be, you know, nice, nice food. It's football. It's an organization. There are going to be differences of opinion, but we're trying to win. We don't oh, know. I, I, we don't right, know. Right, First of all, we you, don't buddy. know. Maybe Peters did reach out to Harbaugh, and Harbaugh 
said he wasn't interested. We have no idea. I, I we don't know. But I'm rejecting. I'm going to trust Peters. The, I mean, the guy's well, it's not like handed. Harbaugh interviewed for every opening. There's got to be right. certain jobs that he's more interested well, we, in than others. I'm. I, I, did, sure. he, did he inter, did he interview in Seattle? Nope. I don't know that they called him either, though. They say that he interviewed with Atlanta that's my point. and the Chargers. It, there's got to be mutual interest for both sides, right? Right. And, and, and I, I think, think the interest. I think there was no <clears throat> interest on our side. There might have been no that's interest my on either that's, side. No, that's your either side. That's your vibe. But we we have no idea. It could have right. been on both sides. I'm just, just taking no it idea. personally. That you're saying he wouldn't want to work here. That's all. I'm taking it. I'm telling I, you. I don't honestly. know. I don't know. I'm saying you're maybe. Kind of assuming. Maybe there are <laughs> there were other posi- or jobs that he wanted only more. wanted. That might be possible. But so he interviewed in believe, Atlanta, and he obviously interviewed in LA. I do believe if we had called him, he would at a minimum. Because why wouldn't he use it for leverage? It makes your price go up. We, we just don't know. We don't know the process. At a minimum, he already has leverage. University yeah. of Michigan. And he had Atlanta. Yeah, he, he didn't need more I don't leverage. Think he did. I, okay. What good is another NFL job? I mean, I'm, take, I'm taking it personally that people are saying see, this that's is not what a good job. You're, you're, I've said upset. it all the time. You're upset that the Chargers are viewed in a more positive light than the Commanders. No, I'm not. I don't blame him for taking the Chargers. I'm I, What I'm upset at is that Jason's idea that he wouldn't even take a call or he would, he would, he put the word out, not interested in the commander's job. Right. I, I don't know. I'm just guessing that <laughs> there are certain you're... jobs that he probably wasn't interested Maybe in. Maybe the commanders sure. are on Harbaugh's saying, food bar list. Well, that commanders could, are not on his food bar list. <laughs> I, I, we'll never Maybe know. he was listening to your rant the day after the season ended when you said <laughs> you're not going to be optimistic about the team until they win 11 games. You said none of it matters. Now you've come around, but you're like, Number two pick, all the positives that we've brought up. Salary cap face, really you're like, come around. none of it matters. None I of it matters. Really come around. Well, I still, I'll, I'll believe it when I see it. I know, but you went from saying none of it matters, the number two pick and the Anywhere. salary cap space and all the positives, to now saying, well, why wouldn't he be attracted? We have the number two pick. We have the salary cap space. Correct. I'm just saying from my perspective, it doesn't matter. Obviously, to other people, everyone says it matters. But in, from my perspective, you got to prove it. I've I've been uh, my heart's been broken too many times. Doubting Thomas, right here. I just you're I just, doubting Thomas. I, still, I think the stars have to align. I, I still yeah. and I'm kind of you know flummoxed by why Vrabel isn't getting more looks from other teams. Uh, him too, but I think maybe he uh, maybe he I, lands I in it. Seattle. I mean, who's the front runner for the Seattle gig at this point? I don't know. Maybe it's right. who's the front runner for Seattle gig. I thought Dan Quinn would have been, but Quinn I, was. But they're doing a wacky bit. They're they're interviewing. Guys that nobody else wants. Oh, really? Patrick Graham from the Raiders. Okay. Mike Kafka from the Gi- from the Giants, right. offensive coordinator. Oh. Evero. Well, they're Quinn's still in the mix. They're they're interviewing Quinn for the second time today. That Kafka is young. He was just on the roster a couple years ago. Yeah, he's young. So OC. that's why they're. Yeah, doing that. but the Giants. I think Vrabel's getting stuck because he's not considered like young. He's not he's really young that, or old. Like yeah, he's, he's, he's in, in the mid- in between. But he's going to get a job if it's not this year to be next year. Here's the thing about 100%. these young offensive coordinators. They don't all succeed. Exactly. Like right now, That's everybody thinks point. they're great. But That's my Adam point. Gase, he was a bust. He was a young offensive okay. coordinator. Well, don't have, Nathaniel don't Hackett. The next Adam Gase. Nathaniel right. Hackett. It's simple. Right. right. Just, Most recently. Well, and I, I think Staley was didn't even last guy, a full but he season. was a young guy, analytics guy. Everyone's like, oh, he's all analytics. Let me give you another one. Cliff Kingsbury. Right. Yeah. How did he do as a head coach? Yeah. Apparently, he might come back, though, as uh, offensive coordinator. For yeah. Caleb. That's probably a good position for him. Right. But it doesn't mean just because you're a hot OC mind that you're going to be successful. No. I mean, and that's of exactly why Some of those I'm guys reserving don't. judgment. The ones, I, the ones I feel more strongly about are the guys that we know have been around. You know, the Vrabels. I like like even Raheem Morris. Hell, even Antonio Pierce. I'm, I'm telling you, Antonio Pierce could be a superstar. He could be a bust because he doesn't have a lot of talent there. But, man, he seems like he's I'm got that right. Think the right. Ben Johnson, ready to do that. I would right think the now. Falcons who are going to are going to hire either Belichick or Vrabel. The know. Falcons? Makes yeah. sense because they're in the win now I, I mode. I think that's those are their two guys. Might make sense to just me. Guessing on, just guessing based on the interviews. Vic, what's up? What's up, guys? Hey, Vic. How are you? I'm good. So, if no Ben Johnson, definitely Bobby Slowick. Right. Uh, both of them have uh, been able to have significant impacts as offensive coordinators versus defenses that uh, want to make the windows tight for quarterbacks. And they've uh, gotten both a young quarterback 
fresh rookie out of out of college, and then Jay, uh, Jared Goff, who was basically left for dead, um, to be excellent in the NFL, and that's important uh, versus defenses that are uh, uh, all geared towards tightening windows for quarterbacks, and they can run the football. They they've shown when they need to run the football on both of those teams, they can run the football in situational football, get tough yards, and uh, and also control the game running the football. I like both of them. So Vic, if you if you were Adam Peters, your number one guy would be Slowick. Um, it would be it would be Ben. Um, oh, it would ben, be Ben. Ben has got my attention more than uh, just slightly than Slow. But if I had to take Slow, I'd take Slow too. Ben really impressed me last week uh, when it was third and eight, third and seven, sometimes third and eleven. They were getting gaping yards running the football and inside zone. That means you have a mentality on your offense. And that means if your if your offensive line is moving people like that, that means they do that in practice and, and, and makes your defensive line competitive. And I want that as a coach. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Thank, thank you, Vic. Vic. Appreciate it. See, the other thing I don't know is like these guys' personality, really what they're like on the field. <laughs> how do the guys respond to them? Leadership? Are they just nerds? You know, or do, are they actually? I need an alpha. I, I, you know what I mean? If every team needs I think with Ben Johnson, you got a little insight into the the personality when you saw that clip from That's the, all I got. the Senior Bowl, I think it That's was. That's all I got. And Two I think it, ironically, it was with Sam Howell. That's all I really got. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But also the results. I mean, the re- results are the thing that matters the most. So why is everybody interested in Ben Johnson? If he's Johnson? responsible for the results. He's got these great results in Detroit I mean, with, he's putting in his guys... two years as the offensive coordinator. He's had a super fast rise. Now, he was part yeah. of Dan Campbell's staff when Campbell was an interim coach. I mm-hmm. think he was the assistant tight ends coach. Mm-hmm. And then he became some sort of offensive quality assistant. And then the last two years, he's been the offense coordinator. Yeah. Look, people were sniffing around him last year, and the Lions were desperate to retain him. They gave him a pay bump to keep him in Detroit for an extra season. Mm-hmm. They know that he's a quality offensive mind and that they're going to lose him in this coaching cycle. They can only hold on to him for so long. And let me say this about Goff. Goff has definitely been better the last two years with Ben Johnson. Mm-hmm. But he wasn't trash with the Rams. They didn't get rid of him because he was the worst quarterback in the league. His quarterback rating was 90. All right. The next year in Detroit was 91.5. The last two years, it's been 99 and 98. But it's played so di- it's been better the last two years with Ben Johnson, yeah. but it wasn't horrific But he dipped in, LA. in Detroit, like his, uh, in L.A. I mean, that's he part, did dip. That's the reason why McVay After his third like, season, he dipped. Grew tired of him. Yeah. And then he, he goes to Detroit, and I believe he's thrown 59 touchdowns in the last well, two seasons. Well, coach him up, McVay. Coach him up. Yeah. He just felt like he had a better option than Stafford. I mean, they went to a, they went to a Super Bowl. Well, he right. also had he a personal relationship mm-hmm. with Stafford. It appears. Yeah, <clears throat> they were like buddies. They're, they're tight. Yeah. Live in the same swanky yeah, I mean, let's neighborhood. Let's be honest. I, I think Jared Goff has obviously proven the naysayers wrong that he's a talented quarterback. But Stafford has got like next. He's got next level talent. Like yes. the, yeah, the, the, he's healthy. The yeah. arm angles Definitely. and the touch and all that. That's like next level. So I could see why you'd be tantalized by it. You know, we we sleep on. We've said it many times. All these guys are great athletes. I mean, they're so good. It's the best of the best of the best. And you know, we kind of mock them and we act like they're trash. Mm-hmm. These guys they can are all studs. make the throws. These you know, guys are all it's, studs. It's the frequency, like Brock Purdy, of the four quarterbacks that are playing this weekend. All right, golf is the number one pick. Lamar Jackson's a super freak, about to win his second MVP. Mahomes is a Hall of Famer instantly. Could could mm-hmm. you know if he keeps going on this pace, could go down as the greatest ever. We'll see how much mm-hmm. career. So Purdy's the one that are like, eh, nobody yeah. wants to give him any credit. But that one throw that he made, I think it was a third down pass on the last drive that was over it the was linebacker, t- but in t- front of the safety. It was to Juwan James. It was an yes. unbelievable pass. He he really couldn't even see where he was throwing. It's almost like he just threw it up and Jennings made a great just hope for the play. best. Yeah, but it wasn't a YOLO. It wasn't a. I know. A, a, it just looked that way. Yeah, it was a perfect. Pass. It was a perfectly. They call it like the layering of the pass because it was yeah. layered over the linebacker, but in front it was really. But really he also nice. had McCaffrey twice on kind of like screen passes or, or flat out passes, and he just threw it to the ground. And you know what they say about Purdy too <laughs> is that he's just uber smart. He's very smart. So on McCaffrey's long touchdown run, mm-hmm. you realize that Kittle was supposed to be in motion. I read that. Yep. And he saw that the clock was coming down, mm-hmm. and he was like, stay, 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 stay. And then Kittle set, 
it could have been a delay a game because it was at zero seconds and he snapped it, gives it to McCaffrey, yeah. he takes Sometimes it to the you house. get away with it. Sometimes you get away with plays where the, the refs yeah. miss But the, he does the have calls. to play better Sunday than he did last weekend. Right. Absolutely. And if Debo doesn't play, I'm calling it right now, they won't win. Right.